We are pleased to lend support to the new Model Lighting Ordinance, or MLO, by incorporating the specific calculation entities required and a compliance report, pass or fail, into the already present obtrusive light command in AGI 32. Let's have a quick look. So here's our tried and true Burger World sample file. I'm going to select the obtrusive light command from the calculations toolkit and the illuminance intensity subcommand. Let's rename this calculation MLO. We'll leave the point spacings at 10 by 10. And the MLO specifies an illuminance limit on vertical planes surrounding the property and above the property. The calculation methodology is then to place the site in a container or a box. The top of the box must be at least 10 meters or 33 feet above the tallest source. In our case, we have 27 foot mounting height here on this project in a couple of spots. And uh, so if you add 33 feet, we're at 60 feet. So let's put a Z coordinate top to the box of 60 feet. We're also going to select an enclosed box. So that means we'll get points on the top. We can disable the maximum luminance intensity in candelas because that's not part of the MLO. That's part of CIE 150 and NAUSI 4282. All right, so let's click OK. And now let's locate our box on the property line surrounding Burger World. You can now see we have calculation grids on all four sides as well as the top. And nice little light meter indicators now associated with the points. That's also new. The MLO states we must consider reflected light, so we'll compute in full radiosity mode. Okay, so for readability, let's go into Project Manager. Select Calculation Points. And let's turn off the visibility of the top segment as well as segments 1 and 2. There you can see our vertical illuminance on the walls at the property line, the walls of the box. So now that we have the calculations, let's look at compliance. So if we go back to the obtrusive light command, we now can look at the compliance test report. If we select the MLO from the menu, and now select our lighting zone. We're going to use an LZ4 high ambient zone, downtown if you will. We pull from the MLO an illuminance criteria of one and a half foot candles. So that's the most that you can have on your vertical planes. We can also look at our total off-site lumens. We have a lumen allowance worksheet built into AGI 32 that is specific to the particular lighting zones. So in this case we've built up lumen allowances for building entrances, outdoor dining, and a drive-up window. We get a whopping 48,625 extra lumens. Let's run the compliance test. Well, immediately we can see we've exceeded our maximum allowable value of one and a half foot candles on all four sides. The top of the box, 1.2. We passed a list of all the specific points that failed and a summary of our lumen allowances. We passed for total installed lumens but we failed for off-site lumens. So obviously this particular project needs some adjustment. There my friends, go forth and limit light pollution.